Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome back to uh, Divine Conversations and welcome to a general singles reading for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Yeah, please keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And we absolutely 100% could be speaking to a cross watcher here. Just take it as it resonates, guys. But this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and Aquarius singles. But of course, you could, this could resonate for you if you find yourself in some sort of situationship, okay? Like la lacking in complete status of knowing what the situation is for you. All right, let's get into this. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What's going on for my Aquarius singles here? Make the effort is the first card. Okay. Okay. And then we have romantic feelings. Um, first thing I'm getting with this Aquarius is that you are dealing with someone that is not necessarily making the effort. What I, uh, you, I'm seeing, I'm picking up on for some of you, and I don't want this to be like too cliche, or I don't want this to be too like bashing the masculine, but I feel like you're dealing with someone, with a masculine individual that you may have romantic feelings for, or they may also have romantic feelings for you. They may have expressed this to you, but you're not making the effort or they're not making the effort or it seems that the effort is not being made. This could be that cliche situation in which you're dealing with an Aquarian uh, or you are the Aquarian that is unfeeling or is seeming, seen as unfeeling or like emotionally distant, emotionally detached. And I really don't like to put forward that narrative for Aquarius any longer because it's not fair. Because intrinsically, if you're gonna understand Aquarius energy, you need to understand that they are, first of all, they are ruler of the 11th house. The 11th house is the house of wishes, dreams, hopes, and fears. It's also the house of um, your social groups and interpersonal relationships. Um, whether that be, well, it's not, so, mm, whether that be romantic or platonic, but it's not so romantic, it's more a platonic thing because the 11th house is all about your social groups and your social associations. But also Aquarius energy is intrinsically around or uh, centered towards, oriented, oriented towards driving a level of change and revolutionizing of the situation for the greater good of all. And in order for an Aquarius energy or for in order for that to be achieved, there has to be a level of emotional detachment because if you were to be emotionally invested in driving this change, nothing would ever get done, okay? So I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that to say that's an excuse to be overly emotionally detached, but that's where it comes from. So we have to understand that. And that's why I don't wanna drive that narrative any longer. However, <laughs> however, it is what it is, right? But Aquarius or cross watcher, the message for you right now is, if you have romantic feelings for someone, then it is worth it to make the effort or you're going to have to make the effort in order to drive the situation forward, okay? What's going on for Aquarius here? The sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Okay. What's going on for Aquarius? mask not showing true feelings okay all right um not showing true feelings hide personality pretend delude and gaslighting i want to get one more card for you aquarius what's going on for aquarius here keys on a ring and sunglasses Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand, and then, and then again, another energy similar to the mask, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. We have gaslighting here twice. Perception and focusing out. I'm gonna be honest with you, Aquarius. I don't even really know what's going on with this situation, which to me is making me feel like someone may be avoiding something here. for the sake of honor, protection, and power, and solidarity. I just gave that whole spiel about how uh, Aquarius is like 
naturally emotionally detached and I don't want to drive that narrative any longer because it's not fair to Aquarius but at the same time that seems to be what the situation is here there seem to be many different reasons as to why someone is avoiding something or at least they're coming up with all these different reasons to not make the effort to avoid something here this could be you, Aquarius, or it could be your person, the, per your, the, per the cross watcher, or even though this is a singles reading, it's supposed to be a singles reading, um, I'm picking up on some sort of situation here, situationship here for some of you. Now, if you are single, this is your problem, or this could be your blockage here. You are finding every reason, or this person is finding every reason not to make the effort. Again, this could be really, we could be speaking to a masculine, a masculine energy or a man who, for the sake of honor and protection, is not going to allow themselves to really get romantically involved with these feelings, really uh, make the effort towards these romantic feelings, acknowledge them at all. Yikes. I just went on that whole soapbox spiel about... Okay, <laughs> let's go further. What's going on for Aquarius here? What messages do we have for Aquarius at this time? And what I'm also picking up on here is for some certain cross watchers, see, look at this, the hermit and the hanged man. The hermit has been showing itself for all of the air signs so far. But what I'm also picking up on, there is a narrative here of someone maybe cross watching for a man or a masculine energy in their life, whether it's someone they have romantic feelings for, they're trying to get connected deeper with, or this is a friend or family member. And y'all just keep, y'all just had this conversation or you keep having a conversation about why homeboy here always fails in relationships. Here's your answer. Because they're not making the effort when they feel, when they have those romantic feelings. And it's not to say that they have to make the effort for towards everyone that they come that they come across. But when the when that right person comes across and they actually have the romantic feelings, they're not taking the opportunity to make the effort. But I also feel like that's because of some sort of damage or conditioning. Maybe this is a situation in which Aquarius, you are conditioned or this Aquarian is conditioned to 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 be in an energy of, well, no, I'm not supposed to have feelings or I'm not supposed to express my feelings. Maybe it's this narrative that I picked up on in the beginning of, well, you're an Aquarian, so you're emotionally detached anyway, and someone is taking that and running with it. Just because you're Aquarian doesn't mean that you have to be, remain emotionally detached in all situations. If you're going to have a romantic situation with someone, you're going to have to feel and be, be willing to express those romantic feelings. You're going to have to be willing to make the effort towards those, towards expressing those romantic feelings I'm hearing. One last shuffle. What's going on for Aquarius? My Aquarius singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First card is the Magician to the King of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Empress also just wanted to show herself. Anything else? Nope. That's it. And then the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So what I'm getting here, Aquarius, is that this is a person or you are a person who um, might be very opportunistic. Um, okay. I don't, I don't necessarily mean that in a bad way. But that's kind of what it feels like here. There's a little bit of flighty energy. It's, but it's coming from this King of Wands. And normally the, the, the Knight of Wands is the truly flighty one. But... There is something about keeping your options open here. This person is looking for, is trying to manifest what it is that they want. Okay. 
but for some reason, they're not following through with the situation. They're not willing to or allowing themselves to be in the situation long enough for it to be taken to the long term. This is the, and the King of Wands energy here. What I'm getting with the King of Wands is that you or, you or this person is constantly on the lookout for what it is that they want. Or con connected with the magician here is constantly keeping themselves open or is constantly manifesting situations of what it is that they want. And instead of when they get one semblance or one aspect of it, instead of sticking with it and following through with it, they're lacking. Ooh, I'm hearing they're lacking in this integrity to follow through with the situation, to make the effort for the situation or make the effort towards the situation for it to turn into more of a long term thing. Ten of Pentacles is the overall energy. This is the type of person who is constantly keeping their options open and taking the opportunity to go after what it is that they want when they find that, when they find that opportunity. But again, they're not sticking with it for the long term. They constantly, they're in a mindset of constantly keeping their options open. And when something new comes up, they go after it even though they have something already, some semblance of it or something already started right over here. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. And then at the same time, turning around and being like, why do my relationships never work out? But what? Because, because you're not making the effort towards it. You keep getting all of these options because you're looking for them, but then you never really fully follow through with them. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Or you find some reason to give up too quickly. So it never even has a chance to reach that long term, to reach that marriage, to reach that commitment, to reach that long term boyfriend, girlfriend aspect. Let's clarify. Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Seven of Wands reversed. Too rigid, too defensive. Okay, way too defensive, way too blocked off. That's why, that's potentially why it, 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 may, it may, not even, may not even be that, um, it may not even be that this person is not really following through or is not willing to follow through. It may be that the situation isn't, doesn't have a chance to, be, to, 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 to go the distance because of a level of defensiveness. This person is way too defensive. And so that ultimately drives someone else away. And so that, this, and see, this is feeling like a self-perpetuating situation. And so then ultimately, or conversely, this person here that we're speaking of or speaking to, that this reading is meant for, feels like they constantly have to be on the lookout for the next opportunity because now they're in a sense of conditioning where well this is this one's not going to work out either just like the rest of them so why even commit why even make the effort this is a wow this is a self-perpetuating situation clarify the knight of pentacles please page of pentacles What I'm feeling like here, and then the Hierophant, interesting. Taurus energy, commitment energy, conditioning energy, belief systems, dogma. I feel like this person may even be more comfortable in the very beginning when it's fresh and new, King of Wands energy, oh yeah may be most comfortable with the situation when it's fresh and new and there's passion and excitement. But as soon as that passion and excitement start to fizzle out, they're on the look, they're, you're, you or they are on the lookout for the next window of opportunity. 
overall energy here is the four of pentacles. I do feel like this is some sort of learned conditioning here. But in order for the situation to reach that long-term goal or long-term commitment, you are going to have to remain committed. You're going to have to remain in it for the long term. Some of you are not receiving commitment at all, even though that's what you want. That's what you desire. And maybe it is that you're dealing with individuals that are in this King of Wands energy, magician energy of constantly being an extreme opportunist. And maybe the Seven of Wands here is not a sense of overly defensiveness. Maybe for some of you, this is this Seven of Wands is lacking the proper boundaries. Lacking the proper. So, so, so you find situations, Page of Pentacles. And ultimately, you want commitment in it, but you, but, but you are not holding the boundaries or yeah, holding the boundaries, for lack of a better term, there's a better way that I could say that, but the words are not coming to me right now. But for lack of a better term, you're not, or this person is not holding the boundaries to allow themselves, or the rules, there it is, rules. You don't, are, you're not following your own rules. Instead, you're getting involved with individuals that uh, in which, yeah, it may start out somewhat committed. There may be a little bit there, but really I feel like that's mostly passion and excitement. But when it starts to reach that moment where it could actually follow, you could follow through with it and make it into more, this person cut and run, cuts and runs, or this person was never in, was never even, I'm hearing emotionally available, okay, but this person was never even willing to do that to begin with. There was no chance of this going from the page the, then ultimately to the knight to bring you ultimately to the king and queen, which is that commitment energy, that wifey husband energy, or just that long-term partnership energy. So this person here may, be, may either be too rigid, having too many blockages and too many boundaries, or your problem or your issue is that you don't have the proper boundaries and you're not playing by your own rules. You're constantly allowing people into your situation that have no intentions of going the distance with you. Four of Pentacles is the overall energy and the feeling that I'm getting from that is I, I just want to keep trying with this type of person or this type of energy. You have to let this go. Let's clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands, please. The Five of Wands reversed. You're not listening to yourself. You may not even be listening to your friends or family members around you that are saying, boo, this is not the right energy for you. This is not going to get you what you want. There's a level of stubbornness here. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Oh boy. Overall energy is the Nine of Wands. What? Give me a second, guys. King of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands in reverse. The Five of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Maybe, again, lacking in boundaries. Maybe also lacking in emotional awareness. The Eight of Pentacles would represent... Um, that long-term energy, that, yes, a commitment energy, but doing the day-to-day the, the -day hard work. Not necessarily hard work, but like menial work or mundane work. That, the, the ex oh, the excitement energy. Oh. You have to be emotionally aware enough. Queen of Cups. And also, this is what I was going to say, uh, I, but I didn't say it in the past. It's something that came to mind, but I didn't say it. But you're going to have to be able to deal with when the energy fizzles out and find a way emotionally within yourself to continue working. 
and this inner conflict or maybe the conflict that you're experiencing with the people around you that you're resisting the truth of could very well be this is an individual that keeps aligning with opportunists who are not really in it for commitment at all or they may just be too committed to their own selves and their own passions and their own desires to stick around with someone that ultimately won't align with them in the future when things shift and change for them. You also could be dealing with narcissistic energies. This could be between the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. This could be a narcissist empath dynamic. Or what I'm also picking up on is this King of Wands could be the type of energy to go for those who are really emotionally, uh, just like emotionally potent. That feminine energy that just like, because when fire and water comes together, man, it creates steam, honey. Ooh, that is steamy. But eventually that water is going to evaporate. Or eventually that fire is going to go out or be put out. And as soon as that happens, homeboy or homegirl that represents this King of Wands energy here is out the dough. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. And this is a long-term type of situation for you. There is also a level of needing to become emotionally aware within. And maybe what I just heard is Aquarius, maybe it is being emotionally aware enough to recognize how this is hurting you or how you've been hurt by this. I feel like there is an energy here. We don't have the seven of pentacles yet. Maybe we will, but there is also an energy here of denying the truth of the situation, doing something over and over and over again, but expecting a different result. And I feel like that was actually coming from that four of pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck before, holding on to a certain type of situation for some reason. That passion, that fire element, okay? This is also, I'm also getting hermit energies. I feel like the hermit did, yes, the hermit and the, oh, okay. The hermit and the, and the hanged man caught my attention in the beginning of this reading. The hermit has been a theme for the air signs all day. You have to be self-aware enough, and that's where I'm getting the Queen of Cups here. You're gonna have to go within and look at your own emotions and your own emotional awareness, your own emotional well-being, and maybe even your own lacking of boundaries because the Queen of Cups can represent um, lacking of emotional boundaries when she's reversed. But we also have already the Seven of Wands reversed here, so that would represent the lack of boundaries, potentially, if that resonates for you. But this would, you needing to be emotionally aware enough to be able to put up the proper boundaries to look within the, hot, the, the, the hermit and get a change in perspective, the hanged man, to recognize who these individuals are to begin with, the king of wands, extreme opportunists. Now, the thing about this, Aquarius, is that the king of wands is not reversed. So I don't even want to demonize these individuals because they're, they, maybe they're in the proper alignment for themselves, but it's not the proper alignment for you. Clarify the magician. There has been a theme for the air signs today of not projecting, of stopping the element of projecting onto others what they need to change about themselves and instead going within and saying, okay, but what can I do about this for myself? How can I change my point of view? How can I change my alignment? So that's also why I don't wanna demonize this King of Wands energy. Because everybody has a choice of doing what it is that they feel is best for themselves. But that doesn't always mean that they're doing what's best for you. But in all honesty, Aquarius or Crosswatcher, you've got to be able to stand on your own, have your proper boundaries to say, what's best for me? Okay, I'm going to do that. So really, there's no reason to demonize this King of Wands. Point blank, period. Because they're most likely doing what they feel is best for themselves, right? I don't know if you want to match that energy. I don't know if you want to try and force yourself to match that energy. I don't think that's you, whomever I'm talking to. Clarify the magician. The two of swords. 
and the two of pentacles. Okay, you one card. One card clarifying the magician. You are you are blocking your own manifestational power here or this person is blocking your own their own manifestational power here because Maybe they feel like they can't see what's going on in the external, but I feel like this is more an element of you or, or you or this person are refusing to see what's really going on here in the external. You can use the representation of what's going on in your external reality to help you try and figure out what's going on internally. And you're waffling back and forth, two of pentacles. You got to choose. You got to pick one. You got to pick a side here. But in order to do that, you have to allow yourself to see what is blocking your manifestational power or what is blocking you from working towards receiving what it is that you want. I want to get one more card for the magician here. One more card. We're back to the nine of wands. This is another energy of you resisting or this person resisting change, resistance. And what came out here? The lovers in reverse. Gemini energy potentially, but this is, and this is exactly why I'm saying I'm not gonna sit here and demonize this King of Wands energy because they are most likely making a choice of what's best for them. Are you making that choice, Aquarius? Because the lovers represents a choice. And it's a choice of what is your, what is a choice between vice or virtue, what is for your highest good and what's not. And what I feel like here, Aquarius, is that in order for you to switch your alignment and no longer be attracting these opportunistic individuals, you are going to have to look within and say, okay, what do I need to change for myself? What greater boundaries do I need to change for myself? What emotional Awareness do I need to develop within myself to change my reality, but it is ultimately a choice and there is resistance in terms of that choice. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And also shoot, uh, uh, leave me, uh, oh, oh, subscribe, yeah, uh, to the channel. Smash the notification bell. But also, if you would like a personal reading, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I'll be more than happy to get you hooked up. With that said, Aquarius, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>